How's it going everyone? It's Gadget Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Peugeot 308. It's a plug-in hybrid compact family car that's attractive. It's got loads of cool tech inside and some safety features as well. Let's check it out. Starting with the outside, it's almost completely different to the last generation 308. The whole car has been refreshed with a new Peugeot logo on the front and around the car featuring the new Roaring Lion's Head. The badge also blends in with the radar on the front as well, which looks really good. The front grille is also bigger and the tail lights are slimmer and sharper. It basically looks like a kid got sent home from class because they got creases in their school uniform, went home, ironed it and came back out looking real sharp. It has a longer wheelbase at 55 millimeters and although Peugeot says it results in more leg room uh, for the rear seat passenger, I find that after setting my driver's seat, I would like it, the passenger behind me who is maybe five foot nine like me uh, or more would struggle with their knees. There's a 20 millimeter height reduction, which gives the new 308 an even slicker silhouette that doesn't make it look like a family car. He has a more powerful stance and the creases on the side and the leading lines straight to the front from the back and the creases on the bonnet as well. It looks more sportier and chiseled than ever. The signature front standard matrix LED lights looks mean and adds to the sporty looks, especially on the GT and the GT premium levels. At the rear, the tail light feature full LED technology with Peugeot's iconic three claw rear light. The 308 looks aerodynamically ready for the road, from the design of the bumpers, deflectors, diffuser, body pillars, to its door mirrors. For improved airflow, the most obvious addition being the elongated roof spoiler. Even the wheel design contributes to the impressive overall drag coefficient figure of 0.28. On the rear left of the 308, you have your charging ports and the boot space is not the biggest I've seen and would only be fully utilized with the rear seats folded. You have 412 liters of luggage capacity with a further 28 liters of storage in the hidden compartmentalized area beneath the floor. With the rear seats folded flat, the maximum capacity increases to 1,323 liters the back door should be open with care though, as the elongated end of it could easily hit your chest when you open it in a hurry. The new 308 will be available in seven colors. So you have the olivine green, Bianca white, cumulus gray, Nero black, pearlescence white, vertigo blue, and elixir red. This one being the olivine green version. On the inside, the Peugeot 308 is pure luxury. The seats are comfortable and premium with mottled fabric, technical mesh, Alcantara, embossed leather, and colored Nappa leather available as an option depending on the trim you go for. On the GT versions, there is also Adamite contrast stitching as well, which is used on the dashboard, door panels, and center console. You can fully set up how you sit for maximum comfort with a 10-way electric adjustment system with two memory settings available as an option, as is a multi-point massage system with several different programs and heated seats. Those are the back benefits from two USB-C sockets for charging and data transfer placed at the rear of the center console, although a full USB port would also would have been nice to have as well. They also get a folding center armrest, which contains a phone tray as well. Uh, you also get two cup holders there. There are also a repair of air vents for improved thermal comfort. The air conditioning system features an air quality system, which constantly monitors the quality of the air entering the vehicle and is capable of activating air recycling on its own. From GT models upwards, the new 308 features clean cabin technology, which is an air treatment system that automatically filters out polluting gases and particles. The prevailing outside air quality is displayed on the central console as well. The new Peugeot 308 also features improved glazing that helps reduce outside noise with increased window thickness at the front and rear. Acoustic laminated side panels in the front doors, depending on the version you go for, and frameless interior rear view mirror that on the hybrid models includes a cyan colored LED that is illuminated when the vehicle is being driven in zero emissions mode. Sound quality, the 308 as focal premium hi-fi system with 10 speaker setup featuring four aluminum inverted dome TNF tweeter, three woofers with polyglass membrane and 165 millimeters tuned mass damper suspension and one central speaker with woofer. These are connected to a new 690 watt 12 channel amplifier that features Archimedes digital sound processing. The sound can also be tweaked in the settings for the best soundstage that suits your preference. The front, the driver gets a 10 inch digital instrument cluster that gives the driver access to crucial information without having to take the ice off the road. On this GT model, the cluster features a 3D display that can be switched off and it offers the most customization I've ever seen in a car. You also notice the small nimble steering wheel, 
which features sensors to detect the driver's grip levels when using aids and it includes fingertip controls for radio, media, telephone and driving aids. You can adjust how close it is to you and its height, although uh, it doesn't offer a lot of wiggle room if you want a bit more. A standard, this is a 10 inch central touch screen located slightly lower than the digital cluster and it's closer to the driver's hand and eye line for easier, safer operation. Starting at the allure level, the new Peugeot 308 features fully configurable virtual eye toggles. Positioned along the central screen, each touch sensitive eye toggle offers a personalized shortcut key to numerous functions, including the air conditioning settings, a telephone contact, a radio station, or an application launch. The system can be customized as well with the option to add new pages or remove them. And when adding pages, uh, you can add your favorite apps and features. Although I couldn't seem to find any back button, but the home button does that job in most cases. You'll often find that trying to go back after setting things up requires going back to the home screen before going back into the setting again. Alternatively, you have a three finger press, which uh, makes the application list just appear. And at the top of the screen, a permanent banner displays outdoor temperature information, air conditioning, position in widget pages, connectivity data, notifications, and time. The 308 is also loaded with TomTom -tom connected navigation with quick and easy remote updates uh, to ensure the fastest and most efficient routes. You can also control things using OK Peugeot voice command like you would if you Google Assistant at home. Peugeot's new iConnect infotainment system allows up to eight different drivers to set up their own personalized profiles. You have screen mirroring function, which is now also wireless with smartphone charging plates and two phones can be connected using Bluetooth at the same time. Elsewhere, you get the new compact gear shifter and snazzy drive mode selector with options varying depending on the powertrain. For safety, the new Peugeot 308 features the latest generation driving aids, which help to keep both occupants and other road users safe. The driver assist pack available at the end of the year, by the way, includes adaptive cruise control with stop and go function when fitted with the EAT8 automatic gearbox, so E88, and lane keeping assistance. Also, three new functions come into the 308 for use on dual carriageways and motorways includes a semi-automatic lane change, anticipated speed recommendation, and curve speed adaptation. So at speeds of up to 112 miles per hour, where legal, the setup optimizes the car's speed according to the severity of the bend. Elsewhere, there's long range blind spot monitoring, so up to 75 meters, rear cross traffic alert, high definition 180 degrees reverse camera system with integrated cleaning nozzle, you have 360 degree surround view parking assistance with four cameras, so front, rear, and both sides. You have Peugeot open and go, heating for the windscreen and steering wheel, e-call plus emergency call with passenger number information and location, including the direction of the vehicle in the lane, and indexing the rear view door mirrors when engaging reverse gear. Some of these are available as options or extras. So that's the new Peugeot 308 in a nutshell. Guys, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. All information regarding powertrains available and the range and all, all that stuff will be in the description area. So check out the link to find out more for that information. But in the meantime, smash the like button, uh, share it as well, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time I upload a new video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.